Go to the back and grab the cleaner for me. www.doctorcrazy.com <laughs> Welcome back to Tokyo Culture. I am your host Chris Fagan. And we are sponsored by Diamond Cuts. You already know what it is. We are also sponsored by Dr. Grizz's Shoe Cleaner. So y'all get with that, you know what I'm saying? Three game. Hey. Y'all already seen my... <laughs> I don't know how he knew. I don't know how he knew, but it's straight three game with me. I don't buy nothing but them threes. Oh, but uh, you know, no, knock on, no knock on the other ones. It's just the threes feel like this best shoe ever made. In terms of design, I don't know about comfort, but they just it just feel like walking on a Ferrari in them threes. I don't know what it is. When I see them, you like them foes? I like them foes. I, I ain't gonna buy them. Yeah. I ain't gonna buy them. They said they finna discontinue one, one though. I forgot which ones it is. It ain't the three. <laughs> I can tell you that much. They ain't gonna, get, they ain't gonna stop making them threes. Yeah. But yeah, uh, welcome back. Um, we are here with a guest from Griffin, a young cat, man. I really like interviewing young people because my dynamic of, of viewers aren't young. And they tap in when I interview a young guy. Also, this guy is from Griffin, and he represents the young culture in Griffin. And, and as you can see, well, inside of his studio, I mean, this room isn't just it. It's an entire building, and it's called the DJ Centric Studio. I'm going to have to take a picture of that. And put that up on <laughs> when, when I get ready to edit this up. You know what I'm saying? I sure. feel like that's pretty big for a young cat like that right there to have already established uh, a place where he do his business. That's big time for me, and I'm just glad to be here. By way of A Green, A Green was the one who uh, put put this together, linked us sure. up. You know, he told me to come pull up, and man, I'm glad I did. Glad to have you. Yeah, here, I appreciate man. it. You know what I'm saying? None other than D DJ Centric. Sure. Where did that name come from? Um, I was sitting in class with one of my homeboys, um, and I was like, man, I want to be a DJ. And we were just sitting there. At first, originally, I was going to go by DJ Drummer Boy because I play drum. Right. But I was like, I already know a drummer boy. He a producer. Yeah. So I was like, dang, got to think, got to think. So I was like, I like Century. I don't know what it means. I just like the word. Right. And we looked it up, and it was already a DJ Century. Okay. So I was like, I'm just gonna spell it different. You spell it different. Yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah. Yeah. I put the three in there, the two eyes, and now it's kind of just like my homeboy. He um he passed away a couple of years ago. Yeah. So now it's just kind of a, I kind of I'm always having with me, if that makes sense. Now, now you said you played drums, uh -huh. like in, like in a band in school. Well, in school and at church. Okay. Yes, sir. So in the band at church, yeah. So that playing the drums come very custom to guys who make beats. You do make beats. Yes, sir. Right. Mm -hmm. So what came first, DJing or making the beats? Drums. Drums was the first thing that started everything. And then I think it was, yeah, making beats. I downloaded FL. One of my teachers in middle school, once again, everything happened in middle school, really. He, um, one of my teachers had, uh, Showed me the program, and um, this is my dad. Sorry, it's okay. Hello. AJ. Yes, sir. You got the most spots available. Yeah, yes, sir. Can I call you back? I'm doing an interview. All right. All right, Lee. All right. Please. All right. That is awesome. That's my boy. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's my boy right there. But uh, yeah, one of my teachers, uh, Mr. Lee, he um. I think he was, he was using Ableton to like make beats, and I think I downloaded FL because I didn't have no money. FL was I found the crap version; it was free. 
started doing that. And then he showed me, he DJed all the school dances. And he um brought me over there one day at the dance and he was just showing me everything. And I downloaded Serato on my dad's computer. And yeah, I just started kind of messing around with it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so how did the DJ emerge? Like, how did you know you wanted to DJ? Somebody just asked you I don't, to come? I don't like listening to people. I, don't, <laughs> I couldn't have no job. Like, I can't. Like, I was, I've always been the... Just a to myself person, a self driven now, person. Now, now, when DJing, was that something that was um, easy for you to pick up because you knew how to make beats? Yeah, making beats is like all mm -hmm. counting bars mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. or was there a process you had to go through? To nah, learn? I literally did it the first day. First day I touched the software. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First day I had never did it, anything like that. Yeah. But it's crazy. Like people, my friends used to be like. Oh man, yeah, this AJ. Well, my real name AJ. I'm like, yeah, this AJ. He make, yeah, he he made he make some hard beats. I never made beats before. Okay, but so I was like, okay, they keep saying it. I guess I would just try. Okay, so how <laughs> so how far into DJing do you go today? Like, you have a um, set Friday or Saturday? Or um, you just, currently, you yeah, just I on do. Call? I recently just started. Like, okay. I was avoiding it for a while. Right. But yeah, now I'm um, Friday and Saturday. I DJ at a place called Culturistic mm. and um, McDonald's, a cool little restaurant. Got it. Y'all go check it out. Shout out to my people at Culturistic. Yeah, great lamb chops. That's my favorite food. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Culturistic. Um, and then the rest of it, I kind of just be flowing. Like I tour a lot, and yes, yeah. it's your just opinion. When you say you tour, what you mean? Uh, I DJ for like a various amount of artists, or gotcha. I might be going to open for somebody. Or oh, okay, yeah. So you have an intern. Mm -hmm. Are you an intern somewhere? I was at one point. Okay. Yeah, like I think it was 2018. Yeah. I, I was interning at Loud House Studios. Now, yeah. when, now, now, when we was texting earlier, we were trying to link up earlier, but uh -huh. you was previously already in a session. Uh huh. And you said Zay. Yeah. I'm yeah. assuming that Zay Tobin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> so were y'all just making beats or y'all nah, recording was, artists? Um, I was recording Young Dro. Okay. Yeah, it was me, Young Dro, and uh, Young LA. Just, just two hours ago. Yes, sir. That's what's up. <laughs> DJ Century, twenty five years old, already linking it up, man. Yes, that's good. Hey, um, that's big time for me, man. Um, so, where do you think you can go from now? At this age, with already in a a uh, building established, mm -hmm. you're already rubbing elbows with icons of mm -hmm. Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Where do you think you can go from here? Uh, I, it's, there's, there's no limits. Like, right, because there's, there's no limits. I know we was, the sky's we was not we, even we, the limit. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what I was really finna say because it really ain't a top on the sky. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's because like going once you get into the clouds, I'm trying to go sit on Mars. I'm trying to go past right. Mars. I don't know right. what's up there, but I'm right. gonna go up there. Well, you, well, you, you look like you already on the wonderful good track for that, man. Um, I mean, I came up here on the fly. I don't know a lot about you, so I, I, I don't want, I don't, I'm not able to dig uh -huh. like I want to. Maybe one day down the road, uh, we can. Yes, sir. You know, but we just now meeting and everything. Uh -huh. So let's really just talk about what we originally came up here to talk about uh -huh. which is the scent fest scent fest yes the scent fest yeah that's you yeah oh that's <laughs> what's up <laughs> the scent fest uh-huh please tell us what the scent fest uh scent fest is um it's a music festival by me Cent. Wow. DJ Century. Um, a music festival by a 25 year old black man. Yeah. In Griffin, Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> That's your father on the phone. Is he he's helping you with this? Yeah. He, um, acts of like my dad. I don't, when I first started, I was using his equipment. Like when I first got started. Yeah. Because my parents, they were in the music. They were in the music. I, guess I played for them, playing drums. My dad plays keys, mom's song. Now my little brother plays drums in my place. But, um, yeah, my dad, he always been there. It was tough love at first. He didn't really understand it. You know, I used to, you know, get locked out the house a lot, coming in from clubs <laughs> at, you know, 3 or 4 in the morning. But, hey, we good now. That's yeah. it. <laughs> hey, man, it ain't easy being a parent. You got a kid? Oh, no. no. Well, you don't, you don't know yet. No. Nah, because nah. it's hard for us to try to guide, y all, guide young right people here. in the right direction. Yes. But, listen, um, has there ever been a music festival? 
I don't, Griffin? I don't know. Not not to my knowledge. Well, I'm pretty sure you don't get the research. My, my God, Dad, years ago, he had praise in the park. It was more of like a gospel music festival. Uh, God rest his soul. But yeah, I him. That's all I can. So it's, so it's safe to say there has been one, but it's, it's, but not yeah. in a long time. Yeah, as far as I know, like this was probably twenty, like oh five maybe. Like what? I was still in elementary school. When is the fest? June 29th, my birthday. June 29th, so we got a good little month for, for that happen. Mm -hmm. Um, what what all does it consist of? I know it's gonna be live performances. Yeah, good music, um, live performances, celebrity guests, a couple of my you know my people they go. Anybody name through. you want to just give away now, or you just want it to be a surprise? Oh man, I'm trying to think. I can tell y'all who are already gonna be there, like who posted. So it's not. It's not settled yet. A lot of them are, but it's just so. Like, so your father just called and he asked you, "Did you have any more spots?" That wasn't for the studio. That's for the fest. Yeah. Oh, so that's he asking, "Do you have any more spots?" Yeah. And you do, as yeah. of right now. I think not many, but yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> okay. I don't. And really, I don't even know what spots he's talking about. I just said yeah. He might be talking about performances. He might be talking about the vendors. Oh, okay. I don't know. So where is it? It's gonna be at the um the fairgrounds. Where they had a fair at? Oh, where is that? Uh, the Corners Club. Okay. Over. I okay. Don't even, I don't know the road. Okay. I'm bad at names. But. What is uh, me too? <laughs> me too. What is uh the time frame? Uh, twelve to nine. Twelve to nine. Mm -hmm. Twelve p.m. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nine p.m. Like twelve early day to nine p.m. at night. Oh, that's all day. Yeah. Cook. Got it. Cool. Yes, sir. Man, that's a. Impressive. I appreciate it. I mean, like I couldn't. Like I, said, I, I couldn't. Hey, I got help. Like, it's definitely not, not all on me. So, all. so what inspired was this a solo idea um, or was it originally? Collaborative yeah, like idea? basically, I had, um, I was in a period of like isolation. Like I had really, I was depressed. Like sitting here every day. Like I felt like I had lost everything. Like every, when I say everything, like I felt like my world was crashing down. Like last year, and um. So like I said, I lost one of my stable incomes. My relationship was going down the drain. The tornado had happened. Mm. All that happened within two days. Who was that? I don't I don't know. Can you go see who it is? Thank you. Um, but um, yeah, so yeah, that's it. I was just sitting thinking. Now man. when you say the tornado happened, what what do you mean? The tornado came through this area? Yeah, like my I had just opened it. Oh like I like four hours before I post, I'm like, yeah, my studio open, y'all come book. Four hours later, boom, tornado. So it tore off the roof. Or no, it, just... it didn't. It didn't damage the building per se, but it, it was, was a setback. Yeah, it was the power. Oh, okay. Like I didn't. I didn't have any power. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. Okay, I'm telling him in doing a podcast. I mean, if you want to wait, he can, but I don't, you know. That's a client? No, nah, it's a friend. Oh, so I thought yeah, y'all was going to record. Nah, it's a friend. And when you say you isolated yourself, what do you mean? Isolate, you just. I was just to myself. Like, I was trying to figure it out. Like, just that was my first. Like, I ain't never really been through. I ain't really never been through nothing in life. Like I'm 25. Like, I, right. I I didn't go to college. You know, people like to go to college and get yeah. depressed and all that. Yeah. I didn't go through none of that. Like I came straight <laughs> out of high school, doing music, like figure yeah. it out. I, I had don't... a job for a couple months, but I did music and I quit my job and just kept doing music. I never really went through nothing. Like yeah, my parents always made sure I was straight. Yeah, and then when I got <laughs> to of age, like I was always a like I said, a head headstrong person. So I started taking care of myself for real. Yeah. I ain't really been through nothing. So to be 20, I'm grown. I'm almost yeah. 30. Just yeah. to just not be depressed. And, man, I used, to sit, I used to sit up here, man, sad. No, it happens. It happens. Um, I, I don't think people go to college and get depressed. I think people just graduate high school mm -hmm. and become depressed with the notion that it's not 
easy as, yeah. as, yeah, as high me, school was. With me, it wasn't like I was good. Like I didn't yeah. have to struggle. Like of course you know you don't have your days, but I was yeah. like, I mean that's life. Like I wasn't tripping on that. Yeah. But just for me to like, I felt like literally everything that I worked hard for was gone. Like, yeah. Over with. Yeah. Man, I'm sad. I'm talking. About, I'm crying. I don't lost weight. Yeah. I'm talking. About, look at. I, I can't lose. I can't. I can't afford lose no weight. <laughs> so you ain't always been this thin. No, nah, I was. That's the thing. I was like, I didn't need to get thinner. Oh, okay. <laughs> I started gotcha. getting thinner. Gotcha. I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. I get that. I mean, I get that. That's that's uh something I think everybody goes through. Um, yeah. I think it's best to try to go through it in your early twenties rather than wait till you get in your thirties and stuff and try to go through it. Yeah. Because right. by then you be don't have some kids. Yeah. And you get stressed out. You can't see about, about the kids. Good. Like I ain't think I was gonna have to. And but I, I mean, think... I ain't, it. Like I said, it some a lot of beautiful stuff came out of no, it. No, I think that's true. Um yeah. uh, my nephew went to college as an athlete. Uh -huh. You know, very high in the SEC. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty big in college world. And even he had to have uh therapy from a therapist mm -hmm. about things. Yeah. And it wasn't about his grades, it was just about like life obstacles and when they come at you right. and you're just a young person, it's brand new. Mm -hmm. And you just learn how to box and weed right. in this world. That's all it is. I mean, how else did scent fest come up? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like I was saying, man. And, so and a lot of a lot of times, the path to the top is go through the bottom first. Yeah, and I, you know well, I touched it, but I was. Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> I sometimes yeah. that's what it takes. Sometimes it takes to yeah. touch that bottom to jump spring upwards, right to the top. Yeah. But yeah, so twelve to nine mm -hmm. scent fest. How many DJs? Um, You're not one of them. I'm thinking about it. People telling me how they want me to. They want you me to. DJ Century. Yeah. At Scent Fest. Yeah. It kind of, you got to at least give them some. Yeah. But yeah, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about doing a, um, a slot, but I got, um, of course, I got to touch home. I got DJ Pooh. That's my that's my OG. Like, For I, sure. I just inter uh, interviewed Pooh. For sure. Yeah. Like, I, <clears> man, I literally... Used to, I'm pretty sure I got on Pooh Nerd. I used to stand so, behind. So, to this day, I stand behind Pooh and watch Pooh. Like. For sure. <laughs> so, what is your promo package like? Do you have like a flyer for it set yet? Man, flyers. I got bunch of them. I just got through making one before you pulled up. So, you like, make flyers? Yeah. Okay, so you do I that do, too? I do everything. I do too. I make yeah. flyers too. Yeah. So. Yeah, so you got that taken care of. But I had a, uh, I got a shout out. I got to give my flower to my boy Jarvis. He, um, he initially, cause like now I don't got kind of biz to where the I can't artist? sit down. No, he's a um graphic designer. Jarvis. He, uh, I think mm -hmm. his last name is McCullum. I think that's it. But mm -hmm. he, okay. um, he'll come up with the ideas and stuff. And like I, I could do a little bit. So I tell him, look, just make whatever. And so, I'll, so I won't be getting your nerves. Just give me a little template. And I can change little stuff and start mm. getting to. I gotta start coming up with ideas. But you gonna have to. Hey, so as far as the, the all the colors and the creativity and the layouts and all that, yeah. I gotta. I gotta. I can't take credit for my boy Jarv. I good. might change a couple words to make something to make a flower for some milk. But nah, it's Jarv all good. Is the, he the, June twenty ninth. Yeah. June Scent fest. My birthday. The jump start of something. The, the it's gonna be bigger than Rolling Loud, bigger than Coachella. It's. It's gonna be the biggest. That's the goal. For well, sure. if if you don't believe it, nobody will. Yeah, for you sure. gotta believe it. <laughs> I sure. mean, serious. So, how is it here? Like, you constantly recording, or you just usually uh, just here at, at the studio? Is um, yeah, it's. I didn't expect for it to. You got some Thomas in. Like I said, um, my boy K Wood, he came through. K Wood Sunday. We was up here at four four a.m. Yeah. We left the club, okay, here, we record that 4 a.m. You know, you, do you know Dub 50? Uh-uh, who is that? Uh, he's just a young cat like you, about mm -hmm. your same age. Mm -hmm. Super great at this kind of stuff. Wait, where you he from? Made, he's from Thomason. Okay, yeah, I ain't know. <clears> he, um, he, uh, come up with T-Boogie. Damn, that, yeah. Yeah, he yeah, come up with T-Boogie. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, my boy. Yeah, Telvin is the re tell that's Telvin Desk. Telvin the reason I got a desk. I okay. Gotta, I got to shout out my boy Boogie. He's the only friend. Yeah, I could not find a disc. Yeah, um, <laughs> even, I mean, even back then, Tevin was exclusive, but yeah. but then was his guys, yeah. and I would go over there, and if Tevin was over there, uh -huh. I, I, you know, I would get the pleasure to see 
him at work with my with the naked eye. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I knew he was a real deal then, but yeah. and he was very exclusive then with what he's doing, as he is now. Yeah. Um, but he would, you know, <clears throat> do things for them. I think him and Dub are a lot of like. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They are a lot of like. I think um, um, in the future, if I can link you up with for Dub. Sure. Um, I mean, especially music because mm -hmm. he's thinking about um, doing tutorials to mm -hmm. show people how to mix music. Mm -hmm. And it was something like what you were saying mm -hmm. <clears throat> about getting kids together or young folks together Definitely. trying to show them, you know what I'm saying? So I'd probably link you and Doug mm -hmm. together because he had moved to Texas. Mm -hmm. But I think he's back home now, so okay. I should be able to link y'all up. Oh, and I definitely, need, I definitely need to let him know about Scent Fest. Definitely. Um, I need to let Brody, you know Brody? I need a to let him know. ABM Brody. Mm -hmm. We got a song together fe featuring Schooly. So he he know about it? He going to be there? I don't, he I need don't to know, be. I don't know if he know about it. Folk need to be there, man. They do. I know like I know Super, he's coming to help host. Super going to do everything. Yeah. That, that, yeah, he going to do my everything. Boy. I know K Wood performing for sure. Okay. Super, come, Super coming to help host for sure. Right. Pretty sure Brandon, BCP Brandon, that's that's my one of my best friends. He gonna be there for you sure. Ain't, you ain't gonna be able to pull Zay out, is you? Hey, this guy's <laughs> living. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying, man. This June 29th, living. Scent Fest by DJ Century. For sure. A 25 year old black dude with his own business. For sure. Went through depression, came out of it, crawling to the top, going to the clouds, and passed him. And I'm so happy that I got a chance to come up here and interview him and link up with him. And I hope now we can rub elbows. I love sure. this place. I and, got you uh, a ticket for Scent Fest. If you want to come, just let you want to live. But get it to me. <laughs> you want to live. Two. I got I you. I need two. Because I, I came up here by myself, but I ain't going to want to go to that by myself. I so got you. Me and one more person. I got you. For sure. sure. And uh, shout out to Ace Green for um, shout putting out to my this idea together. A Green, Dr. Grizz, and Shoe Clinic. Yes, sir. If you and. Do. um. Shout out to my boy. We, he told me he trying to get it. He trying to get it moved into into Thomaston. Not uh -huh. like not the product itself, mm -hmm. but the um the attention for it because a lot of people are asking me. Yeah. A lot of people ask me where I get it from and how much it is. Yeah. And and, and everything like that right there. So we gonna try to figure out a way to make it more accessible to everybody in Thomaston. It's actually it's on Amazon right now. I know. So but the people, the, the people who know that uh -huh. is on there. Yeah, we trying to touch to reach the people yeah. who don't know that. You know what I'm we, saying? We just, we just got, we got, we just got to come down there and that's we gonna, it. We going we gonna, gonna put together an event or something. That's we it. Gonna, we gonna put it together. I mean, but what? Everybody gonna have clean shoes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But before before y'all come down now, we need to make sure we get as many people to Scent Fest. Oh yeah, Dr. as Dr. we Dr. can. Shoe clinic gonna be at Scent Fest too. For sure. For sure. For sure. I want to make sure I'm that... I'm going to try to get it to where it might be able to get something clean on spot. You know, hey. Oh, that's that's for sure. I know it's going to be somebody there demonstrating, for sure. I'm going to try. I mean, but it ain't that, it ain't that hard. Yeah. It, it really is not that hard. You just got to take the time to love your shoe. Yeah. Unless you just want it dirty. Yeah, or you can pay a little extra. You send them off, they going to clean them. Or just buy some more, which I'm not finna do. Uh -uh. I'm definitely not buying some more. Dr. Grizzly shoe cleaner. That's why I don't buy Air Force One, because I'd be buying too many of them. I'm telling you, man. I, I started washing shoes, man. I had six, seven different products I would use and two different brushes and rags. Uh -huh. That man took all them things and just condensed it down into one little bottle yeah. and a brush and a rag, it's man. It's, I love it, man. Yeah. Hey, man. I appreciate, appreciate you letting me come up here. I see you got work to do. I got to get back down here with these kids because I love basketball and that's the only thing I, I know how it. to teach people. I suck. <laughs> That's the only thing I know how to teach people without losing my mind. Yeah. Yeah. But appreciate y'all stopping by and looking at Tops from Your Culture again. I am your host, Chris Fagan. This is DJ Century, and he is the host of Scent Fest, For June sure. 29th. June 29th. All right.